Hey, entrepreneurs, let's talk about increasing your foundational strength, the emotional strength to go after your ultimate goal, despite setbacks and frustrations that might threaten to push you down emotionally to challenge your resolve to go after what you know you're truly capable of as you play the infinite game, as you reach for the ultimate outcomes, that the values that, you, that matter to you and will continue to matter to you. We want to increase that strength as much as we can. And the Stockdale paradox has a lot to say about that. Uh, I learned about it through Jim Collins' book, Good to Great. He, he interviews um, Admiral uh, Jim Stockdale, who was the highest ranking U.S. military officer in the, the um, concentration camp, in the prisoner of war camp, I guess is the correct term for that, during the, the height of the Vietnam War. And so he was there for, I think, somewhere like almost eight years. And so he saw a lot of people come in and and die. And one of the questions asked of Jim Stockdale is, well, who survived and who didn't? And he said, oh, that's an easy one to answer. The ones who didn't survive were the optimists. And so that might seem a little odd to you. You know, when you think about the, the way psychology and our physiology interact, it seems like usually the optimists have less stress or more relaxed. But here's the problem is that in a condition where there's a lot of repeated setbacks and hardship, optimism can actually knock you down. It can cause you, it can be a short-term mentality that doesn't give you the strength you need to make it in the long term. So here's what Jim Stockdale said about why optimists didn't survive. They didn't survive the hardship, the torture, and some of the things that people had to go through because they would tell themselves things that would build up this short-term expectation that would then lead to a crushing defeat when it didn't come to pass. They would say, oh, we'll be out of here by Christmas. And Christmas would come and go and they weren't released. And then they'd start saying, well, by Easter, surely like, I know it, we're gonna be out of here by Easter. It would come and go, we'll be out of here by Thanksgiving. It would come and go. And then next thing they're back to Christmas again and the weight of the depression of, I can't fool myself anymore. I just, I don't think we're ever gonna get out would crush their spirit and their body would give in and they wouldn't make it out. They wouldn't be able to survive because they were too optimistic about the short term and they weren't strong enough in their mentality. And this is what Jim Stockdale says allowed him to survive. And this is echoed in many different accounts from people who have survived the, the Holocaust for, uh, concentration camps, from people who survived other kinds of uh, harsh realities where they, they were really reliant on their ability psychologically to believe that something better was coming. The difference, according to Jim Stockdale, is that he knew, he had absolute faith that he would eventually get through this. He didn't know when though, and he didn't worry about that. He just had absolute confidence that this would be a part of his, a chapter of his life, a part of his story that would lead to great things that he had planned for his life. And he didn't need to worry about, is it gonna be this week or next month? Because he knew that he had unwavering faith that he would get through it. And that gave him the psychological strength versus the people who were connecting success this week or this month or by this point to their overall sense of whether they were winning in life. It crushed them. So here's the lesson for us as entrepreneurs for when you guys are working on going after a goal, don't get too connected to optimism about this is going to be the campaign that works. This is going to be the employee that finally fixes this problem. Don't get into that mentality. Play the long game. Use that forever perspective, the infinite game concept, where you say, you know what, these are the these are the, the strategies, the values that we're going to employ, and they will eventually cause us to succeed. And we have no idea how many setbacks and when those setbacks will come. We just know that we're going to succeed because we're investing all of our faith and all of our, our actions into these long-term plays. And that is where we're going to derive the foundational strength that we need to press on regardless of what ups or downs happen. So this is similar to the concept I've shared with you before that I call it high attachment. Sorry, sorry, this reverse. I call it high intention, low attachment. So that means you have a high intention of achieving a goal, but you have a low attachment to any one given strategy, one idea that you used to, to go after that goal. And so what, what you do is you lower your, your attachment and your stress because it doesn't really matter if this thing we tried today crashes and burns and turns out to be a failure because well, we're attached to the intention that we're going to succeed. 
not to this particular strategy or person or method or timing was going to succeed. So this gives you strength. It sounds kind of backward, and that's why it requires a little bit of explanation. This is part of peak performance psychology for entrepreneurs, and it's one of the pieces that's a little bit trickier, not as easy to grasp. But I challenge you to try to take this idea and internalize it. See if you can find yourself thinking about something that you're feeling disappointed about or frustrated about and transform that by re-engineering the filter you're looking through such that you have that high intention, low attachment perspective, that you're not being an optimist about the short term, but rather putting your faith into a long-term goal that you're going to pursue. I'm grateful for the opportunity to work through these ideas with you on your entrepreneurial journey. Talk to you again next week.